Chris Thompson. Uh, Chris joins me now with Callum, who was uh, second defending champion, of course, from last year. But Chris, let's just talk about that little slip, because when you were watching the VT there, you mentioned that you were taking a wee bit of a shortcut and you almost no, <laughs> gamer, almost fell over. <laughs> not at all. It's, uh, at my age, you have to be a bit careful with the old corners. It didn't help the fact that, obviously, with a world force placer coming up on my heels, there's a little bit of nerves and there's a little bit of uh, trying to keep on your two feet. And I, and I felt like I was going to go down. I thought if they saw that, that's going to give them fuel and ammo to come at me. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just grateful I stayed in my feet and I was managed to uh, keep keep it uh, keep the pressure on. Callum, a fantastic fourth place in the World Championships earlier on in the summer in the marathon, of course, and uh, coming back here to try and defend your title. Just not to be today, but are you happy with your performance? Um, it's an all be good way to sort of kick kickstart the season. But um, yeah, just since the world's my legs just haven't quite worked, but I'm not going to take it away from Tom while he ran a brilliant race. It's good to see him getting back there and hopefully he can push on from there. Now, Chris, we were actually saying that. I think that the guys in commentary were talking about, you know, we, we don't want to kind of dwell on the fact you're a wee bit older than Callum, but let's face it, all of, us are, all of us are a well bit older than Callum. We're all still athletes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the fact, well, you, well you, you certainly are, but um, the fact that you have been around for such a long time and still yeah. putting in brilliant performances and all the injuries you've had to suffer over the, over that time. Yeah, it's, it's tough, and I think um, while there's still hunger and there's a burning desire in there, I'll, I'll keep plugging away and... It, and I said to Callum afterwards, it's an honour to race with these youngsters coming through who are setting, pushing benchmarks back for what I achieved through my career. And uh, and it certainly was an adrenaline rush and a, a privilege to actually beat a, a, an athlete of his calibre. I mean, I've turned back the clock a few years and I, I know Andrew Butchard here running his first half was... Uh, talking like how we'd like to race us all in our prime. I'm still trying to be in my prime. I still feel like there's a few more runs in me and hopefully, as Callum said, I can kick on from this and join Callum and the boys at the uh, on the world stage again. And there's still, a, there's still a little bit more left in me, I'm sure. And I guess as well, winning uh, in Scotland against the, and against the Scottish champion yes. is difficult. But I tell you, the crowd were giving you all the encouragement of the day, weren't they? They were, they were. It was really nice. It's funny though, there was a few discrepancies when it came to the gap I had. A few English, uh, uh, voices were giving more generous gaps and a few Scottish voices were like he's on your heels it's 10 metres I was like really? <laughs> so yeah no, there was. It, I felt a bit bad but not too bad uh, it was It was definitely a, uh, like I say a privilege to beat someone on his, uh, on his home turf and now that's I think that's three or four great runs under my belt so yeah. hopefully there's a a great north in there somewhere. Imagine that. Imagine that. That'd be fantastic. Well within you. A partisan crowd, Callum. But uh, just today, just a wee bit, a wee bit off the pace. And what you're going to do now? If you're saying that after the worlds, the legs aren't working the way they were, what's the plan now for the next few months? Um, it's really just to get them back working. Hopefully today helped a bit, and hopefully getting um, my sort of butt handed to me a bit there. With Give me some uh, more, a bit more motivation. But it's really all gearing up for the Commonwealth Games, and it's a bit of a weird period. It's not. It's a bit too soon to go on full on training, but I'll be setting set a base just so when it comes to the, the marathon training, I can really push on. Well, listen, Callum, we wish you all the best and uh, congratulations again, Chris. Thank a you. fantastic race from you. Wonderful effort again. Always good to see both of you running. Congratulations, well done. Cheers, Thanks very much. Cheers.